obviously the more you test, the more you're going to pick up. So increase in testing is going to give you increases. But there is no doubt that there are more infections. And we know that because the percentage of cases, of the, te- the cases that are tested that are positive is increasing. Therefore, unequivocally, you're seeing truly more new cases. In addition, we're seeing now more hospitalizations, which lag behind infections. And we're starting and we'll see, though not as much as we've seen, very likely more deaths. So clearly there are more infections. That was Dr. Anthony Fauci's warning about the increase of corona. Okay, you just heard from Dr. Fauci as he (laughs) clapped back. There are many members, including Trump, who's like, less testing, we would have less results. And Dr. Fauci came out and said that, yes, we have more positive cases because they're going up and eventually we're going to have more deaths. Now I've been watching this whole thing with Dr. Fauci and Trump and Trump, Trump be jelly. If anyone gets any more press time than he does, Trump tries to shut him down. And one of the things they've been doing is Dr. Fauci has not been at the press meeting and briefings and it's been Trump and other people. And now Trump and his crew of sycophants are going after Dr. Fauci who has been telling the truth. If you guys have been watching this channel, you know I've been saying that we were gonna have the highest level of infection in the world because there was a study that came out that if most Americans wore masks, we can get this thing under control three to four weeks. But there's been so much misinformation put out. Wear a mask, don't wear a mask. You a fool for wearing the mask. Yet other countries don't have this type of internal division because they're not based upon our constitutional values where people feel that it is American to do whatever you want, whenever you want, even in a pandemic. And many people have been coming after Dr. Fauci saying, oh, he's this, it's this. Uh, uh, Even Grant Cardone went after Dr. Fauci. And one of the things that has happened, everything that Dr. Fauci has said has come true. He said, we'll get more testing, we will get more positive cases. And he said, during the summer, it wasn't going to go away. I remember some of you even came after me talking about, you you, you black, you need to know how the sun affects and all of this ultraviolet radiation. And I'm like, the Rona is going crazy in Florida. The Rona is going crazy in South America. They ain't nothing but sunlight and heat there. And then people are like, hey, you know. Or the funny thing in the beginning, the Rona doesn't impact black folks. Black folks have been deeply impacted by the Rona. And this is the craziest thing. So right now, in the middle of a pandemic, with record unemployment, with the economy imploding, Trump and people are trying to censor and shut up Dr. Fauci. I mean, this is going on right now. They're like, we don't, and Dr. Fauci like, you put a mic in front of me, I'm gonna tell the truth. And they hate it. You know, and what's so funny is Dr. Fauci and, Doc, and Donald Trump should be working together, but they're not. Trump's trying to keep downplaying this. Florida, which for the longest actually fired the scientist. You can Google this, Florida finds scientists because she wouldn't cook the books. And now their cases are exploding. And they're like, well, it ain't that bad. We gonna open up the beaches and everything. So what I feel is gonna happen is we're just gonna have a massive level of infection for a long time to come. Right now, that American passport that used to get you into 180 countries. Now it's like, oh no, you coming from America. You ain't bringing the Rona into our country. No, 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 not you, Mr. American. I mean, this is crazy. And it's the middle of July. We've only, you know, cause I have a feeling it's gonna get a little crazier. Why? Cause it's an election year in Congress and the Senate are on vacation and they'll come back, I believe the 21st or I forget the 17th. I forget what day they're coming back, but 
they're going to hammer out another package and hopefully they get some more money for testing because the testing has been a dismal uh, disaster and the policies and stuff have been put into place weeks too late. We would have some folks who would still be alive if these policies were put into place earlier. Also, this is something that's happening. State opening, state closing. Greg Abbott of Texas, who's been like, I ain't that bad. Oh, well, we may have to slow our roll. And Georgia, right now we have uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms. She's fighting with uh, Kemp because, you know, they're, they're, you know, she like, I'm shutting the city down. Kemp's like, I'm opening up the state. I don't care what the infection rate going. And also what I feel is going to happen is we're going to just continue to have this massive infection rate. And at some point it's going to level off at some point, because it's just a natural conclusion of things. And I think this is what the GOP is pushing for to get to that point as quick as possible. So it can naturally start leveling off because the Rona, I don't think that this is going to be a one year deal. I think the Rona is going to be around next year and the year after. And you know, for you folks who don't believe it's real and you're like, Oh, you get it. You're going to recover. Um, do some research on the long-term effects of recovering from the Rona. Some people have long-term lung damage. Some people have to have heart surgery. Uh, there was a Broadway star who was in the hospital for three months. They cut his leg off because of the Rona and he eventually died. So all of this stuff like, yeah, you get it, you're going to recover. I mean, there are many folks like, look, I, I, honestly feel that on the course that we are, we should have never shut the country down because we're back on that trajectory where we would have been and we would have got through this months earlier. So I think shutting down the country was a mistake because people are people right now. They're like, it's the Rona. Uh, it's the summer sexy slim Susan's out there. And we're just going to have the impact of what would have happened if we had never shut down just delayed by four months. And that's why, that's why I say we should have never shut down because you know, th this is what's happening and we're going to see more business closures. We're going to, it's just going to be this, this battle and it's going to be crazy because right now, Dr. Fauci is doing his job. The Donald, and the people who follow the Donald, they're not. And that should be really, really scary because Florida has been trying to hide his numbers from the beginning. Texas has been like, we Texans, you don't tell us what to do. We're going to go out. We're going to drink our tea. We're going to be on the patio. We're going to go to the beach. Florida, you know, Florida out here being wild. And the ATL, they having COVID parties where they have someone who absolutely has it, who is at the party and they're like, will I get it? Cause they think this thing's a joke. And there was one person who attended one of these COVID parties and he actually died. And he was telling the nurse just before he died, he had made a mistake. See, this is the pig headedness of Americans. Americans are like, Hey, beer, you know, hookers and blow. It's that mentality of hookers and blow. I'm just going to have fun. I ain't got to worry about nothing. I'm not going to plan for the future. And this is why people are dying. Me. I have a mask. I'm wearing my mask. Call me a punk. Call me scared. Make all types of jokes. Do what you want to do. But I'm wearing my mask when I go outside. Because right now there are people who are not scientists who are debating with scientists about wearing the mask. Like, well, you know, wearing the mask ain't gonna help. You know, I ain't wearing no mask. I, I mean, it's a simple thing. Yes, wearing the mask is uncomfortable and you, you should. Like if you wear the mask out in public, well, I wear the mask out in public. I go in the buildings, I wear the mask. When I get back in my vehicle, I take the mask off. Cause there ain't nobody in the vehicle but me. But people act like wearing a mask is so hard. I got a question for you. 
Which is worse? If you knew that wearing the mask would keep you out of the ICU, would keep you off a ventilator, would keep you from losing body parts, would you wear a mask? Or would you continue to debate with folks who went to school for this type of stuff for their whole life because you're an American? I'm an American. I can do what I want. Yeah. I can do what I want because I'm an American, baby. Yeah, I'm going to go to this Rona party. If I win the lottery, I'm not going to try to increase that money. I'm just going to spend it on hookers and blow because I'm an American, baby. I'm an American. This is what we do. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I'm going to do it even if it costs me my life. And this is the American way. Like I told you guys earlier. Early, I said, we're going to have the highest infection rate. We're going to have some craziness and it's going to be wild for about two or three years. It's going to be wild because like I said, the other day I was out, I had to have my vehicle service and I noticed that traffic is picking up and we're having this push pull battle of businesses trying to do business and fight the Rona and stuff. And we're just not getting the best leadership from this administration. And right now, there are many people, I don't care what he has done, they're going to vote for Donald come in November. They're going to vote for him because it's because he, he, he's American. Donald Trump is the id of the American culture. He represents the true America. Make America great. The, the deep red states. He, he represents all that. And it is based upon fundamental ignorance like dr fauci go ahead and look at what he said and look what has happened and you know he says opening up schools is a bad idea you know what they're going to open up schools they're going to open up schools and when little kids start getting sick and dying then it's like oh maybe we shouldn't open up schools that's what it's going to take because until that happens this is a hoax we will have a country of 337 million people and 165 million people think that this is a hoax, that they should attend Rona parties, that they should go to the beach, they should go on vacation, they should do all of these things. And then when it goes bad on them, oops. So this is your Dr. Fauci <laughs> class back update today. If you want to go ahead and be a little different and you know you want to follow Ivanka Trump's do something new boo <laughs> go below get 30 days to 2500 go below get the hustlers mindset pimp your mind for success and also if you need some help starting your business I have a multitude of consulting packages below so go ahead and get, grab that and I will see you guys in the next video because this is going to be intense, funny, and serious for a minute.